this video, I'm gonna show you how to sell life insurance to your friends and family without coming off as annoying or pushy. Stick around to the end of this video because if you fully implement this strategy, it could literally make you tens of thousands of dollars. First, let's talk about why you should serve your warm market. Notice how I said serve and not sell. If you genuinely believe in the product that you're selling, you should make sure that your friends and family know about what you're doing. Because if what you offer is genuinely good, you would actually be doing your friends and family a disservice by not telling them what you have to offer. And think about this, who needs life insurance? Everyone. So if everyone needs life insurance, wouldn't that include your friends and family? Obviously it does. And if your friends and family need it, they're obviously gonna buy life insurance from someone. So the question becomes, do you trust someone else more than yourself to take care of your friends and family? And not to mention that serving your warm market is one of the highest ROI activities you can do because it literally costs you nothing. Giving your uncle a ring and asking him to get life insurance doesn't cost you a dime. This quote from one of the oldest books in history sums this up perfectly. And it goes like this. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. Matthew chapter seven, verse seven, the Bible. If you never ask, the answer is always no. So now we've established you need to serve your friends and family, but let's talk about how to do it without being annoying and without being pushy. If we're gonna know how to not be annoying, we need to first look at what people do when they're selling things that makes them annoying. We'll start with number one, making it their personality trait. Number two, never letting it go. Number three, constantly being pushy and trying to force them to buy it whether or not they need it or want it. Number four, they start acting differently, treating you like you're a prospect instead of a friend. Number five, constantly relating everything back to their product even if it doesn't make sense. Number six, making this feel transactional. And number seven, not knowing when to take no for an answer and continuously asking, even if it doesn't make sense. Because the truth is, a good family member or friend will wanna support you. And the key to not being annoying is super simple. Just be honest with them. All you need to do is just tell them what you offer and how you think it might benefit them. Have you ever been to like a really good restaurant before and you start recommending it to a friend? Oh my gosh, the atmosphere was amazing. The service was great. And dude, you just gotta try that ribeye. Whether or not you know it, you're literally pitching them on going to try that restaurant. And yet nobody ever finds this annoying. Do you know why? Because they can tell that you genuinely believe in the, in the experience that you had at this restaurant. And if they said that they don't wanna go, usually you'll just leave it alone. So try approaching this like you're recommending a restaurant to a good friend. Explain why you started selling life insurance and how much you believe in it. So here's a quick side note as well. If you don't have a life insurance policy currently on yourself, why would they buy from you? Well, let's talk about some quick tactical strategies that you can use. Now, if, if only there was a, a quick and efficient way for you to be able to broadcast a message to everybody that's in your network. Oh, wait, there is. It's called social media. And lucky for you, all of your friends and family are on it and already follow you there. So you, all you have to do is make one quick, simple post on each of these platforms that you have. It could be something like this. Hey friends, can I ask a huge favor? I've recently stepped into a new career as a life insurance agent and starting next week, my company will have me taking appointments. This is where I could use your help. To gain some experience and, and feel a little more comfortable doing this, I'd love to get some practice runs with some people that I don't spend every single day with. If I could run through a practice presentation with you, this would be a huge help and I'd be super grateful for it. Comment below if you're willing to let me run through a practice presentation with you and I'll send you a DM. Thank you for your support as I embark on this new exciting journey and I look forward to speaking with you. Now, depending on whether or not you're clouded up, you might be able to get one lead, 10 leads, who knows? Now, of the people that comment on this, all you have to do is simply call them up and literally go through your presentation. It's that easy. And you'd be surprised, regardless of how much experience you do or don't have, most of these people, a good percentage of them will actually end up buying from you just because they support you and the product that you have is very good. Now, once you've done this, all you need to do next is make a list of every single person whose hand you've ever shaken in your entire life. I'm just kidding. We're gonna use a concept called the rolling 100. The rolling 100 is where you basically make a list of 100 people and every time that you somebody tells you no, you just add another name to the list within your network. And so the goal is to constantly keep 100 people on the list at all times, hence rolling 100. But here's the thing, I just want you to do this with 20 people. Now when you combine social media and your rolling 20 list, now you're gonna have a massive base of people to reach out to to get the ball rolling. You don't need to be pushy, you don't need to be salesy, you just need to let them know what you're doing and how you recommend it to them, and whether or not you even would. So if you have value out of this video, click the like button, click the subscribe, and leave us a comment below on which one you think was most beneficial. And if you wanna learn more about how you can actually work leads that genuinely wanna to talk to you, know it's about life insurance and know it costs money, then go ahead and click the link below to watch a short five minute video where you can actually apply to book a call with us to see if you qualify to work our branded Zoosurance leads. So go ahead and click that link down below and we'll see you in the next video.